How you guys doing? I'm Nate Anime and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, we are here at Desertland Park yet again to uh, one of these Wednesday night meets. Love these Wednesday night meets, by the way. Really, really, really do. It's just something to really uh, come out and do. If you've never been to any of these meets before, man, it really, really is kind of cool. Honestly, you get to meet new people, see some new cars, stuff like that. The whole bit. It's really fun. Um, right now, uh, coincidentally, um, I ran into uh, two Itachas, um, the fairy tale Mustang that you guys have seen on my channel before, and this new one, a uh, two-door Kia Forte. I didn't catch the um, the character on the side, but um, once we get all situated inside, uh, then we'll uh, take a look at it. Um, and yes, I am actually driving my car inside too. It's um, I I think I'm ready to come in now. It's not that big of a deal anymore. <laughs> Yeah, they go. They're opening up the, um, the doors right now for us to drive in. We are inside now. All the cars are parked in. We're gonna go look at the cars over there, and we got some cars over here as well. Also got my car over here. Um, the most stock thing here, but you know what? It works out, and I'm loving, loving that grill though. I am loving the grill. It really did turn out real well. I was really kind of worried that when I painted it, it wasn't gonna come out too well, but um, actually. I Actually came out pretty good. Actually came came out like really, really, really good. Got um two Nezos. Actually, I bought the uh, the small ones. I didn't bring the big ones with me this time, unfortunately. But um, I made sure to clean my car up as best as I could. Got the Harry sticker there. Hopefully, I'll be able to strip that off and actually detach the car at some point in time. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's here. Let's go look around the at some of these cars here. Hopefully. Um, also, we gotta go look at the, uh, the Forte, so wait, actually, you know, hold up. Well, um, look at those cars later. I wanna look at the Forte, though. Alright, I wanna show you guys the Forte. I already saw it, but, um, it's kinda crazy, though. It's real, real, real crazy. So, yeah, as I said before, I did actually run into these two on the highway, the, um, Fairytale Mustang and the, um, reincarnate as a slime Kia Forte Coupe. Look at this. This is crazy, though. Oh, look at this, though. The coupe version, yeah. but this is insane though. Look, you even got the uh, the Euro headlights with the clears on them, and uh, these custom headlights too. I've been trying to look for custom headlights because um, the grill on my car looks great, but uh, those dingy headlights though are really, really, really bad. And um, I was actually honestly thinking of getting the uh, the light up uh, emblem, but um, unfortunately I did get a uh, carbon one instead, so. Um, that will be going into the back, by the way. But, um, yeah, man, this is awesome, though. And you got the underglow. Looking nice, looking nice. This is, um, the second Kia Forte I have seen that has been a Tasha wrap. That's crazy, though. And, um, different, so he is, uh, rock and stick on his car. Mine's just rock and pal shifters. Have to say, his is a little bit better. He got the two-door and stick. Which is funny because I was actually trying to look for that car when I was uh, looking for cars and stuff like that. So, yeah, but he, uh, that's really awesome though. That is really awesome. Again, Fairytale Mustang. You guys have seen this car multiple times before. Um, we got the Hyundai Elantra with, um, I believe this is a bleach Itasha. I'm not 100% familiar with bleach sorry this is another guy I know I know all I know this guy right here with the Elantra and I know the one with the Mustang just met the guy with the two-door Forte so um yeah man it's kind of crazy though crazy 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 man but um yeah this car is pretty hot though this was the other car I was looking for when I was trying to get a new car unfortunately um I just didn't like it personally um I don't know what it was. I would have rather the um, like the uh, the hatchback version of the Elantra, but um, that's a little bit hard to find. And this one is too, but um, eh, it's a little bit uh, easier to get, you know. Corolla, nice. I always like the Toyotas. They always look very good, believe it or not. As plain as the uh, the Corollas are, and even the Camrys, they're pretty good when you uh, customize them. Got a Hyundai Veloster with um, Star Wars theme. That's pretty sick. It's not Itasha, but um, gotta say though, this um, this paint job looks good. Oh, 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 oh. We got more coming in. 
Look at that though. Oh my god. Look at those rims. Oh my goodness. On the Cadillac? What? Oh, that's crazy. That is insane. We got more cars coming in here though. <laughs> got my boy Devin in the Hyundai Veloster. Hey. Ooh, with the uh, Gara Gura. Itasha with those white wheels on there too. Not only the white rims, but um, also the hood as well. Pretty good. Got some Hondas. Looking nice. Oh, I'm liking that color though. Ooh, that's gotta be a wrap. That has gotta be a wrap. That is nice. Oh my goodness. And the hatchback, um, Acura? Um, this is the TSX, yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm not 100% familiar with uh, Acuras or Hondas, but, um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boy out here airing it out. Alright, 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 yeah. <laughs> airing out the bags. Yo, that's sick, though. That is sick. Oh my goodness, though. But yeah, man, it is really popping, man. If you have never been to any of these car meets before at Desertland Park in Orlando, Florida, um, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to come, man. It is uh, really awesome. Not only um, Itasha vehicles, but it's also just highly customized vehicles, too. So, like, if you got, and not even just um, tuna cars, by the way, it can also be any car, you know, muscle cars. Actually, in fact, look, we got some muscle cars right there. Yeah, it could be muscle cars, anything. Man, you can bring it and display it, show it off, or you don't have a car and you just want to see some nice cars or even catch a glimpse of a anime wrapped vehicle. Um, this is definitely the place to uh, come, especially if you are in the Orlando, Florida area on a Wednesday night. Um, personally, though, I would check uh, the cars and cosplay since uh, they're the ones who run this event. So I would check with them on uh, when the meets happen. Because, um, like I said before, and I am sorry for saying this so many times, but um, it's not ev these meets do not run every single Wednesday. It's every other Wednesday. So just bear that in mind. But um, let's take a look at this Camaro. Whew. I don't know much about American muscle cars, but um, I gotta say though, this engine bay is very clean. Got the Trans Am Pontiac. Don't make no more Pontiacs anymore. That's a shame, but it's pretty good. Good. Uh, all blacked out Elantra. Got the Nissan Ultima, I believe. I think it might be a Maxima. Um, oh, well, I guess we'll never know. Yep, the Hyundai Veloster, Itasha, right next to <laughs> the Kia Forte. Very nice, very nice with the Gargora. Itasha wrap. That is insane. That is really, really insane. But yeah, I, I've been thinking of actually going with the same artist that um, my boy Devin has. Um, in fact, a couple of cars in here are have the same uh, wrap done by the same person. Um, if you don't know, I think it's uh, Astrep 9 Design Studio. Yeah. They designed some really good wraps for these cars. So it's kind of crazy. Oh, what the heck? Oh shit. That 3D. <laughs> Alright, that's um that's new. Holy crap, I didn't even know they even made name tags like that. What the fuck? I feel like my car is literally the most stock car oh, okay, well. That's like the uh, the second to most stock car here. Um but my car I think is pretty stock. I mean what? I got yellow headlights and what? A new grill? Eh, not much. Yeah, look at this though. A matte black. Subaru with the bug lights. I think this is the bug lights, right? I don't know. All I know is this is the uh, my most favorite version of the uh, the SCI. That's all I know. Cause I've always liked this version. I like the older school version. I never liked the newer ones. I mean, they're all right, but eh, I don't know. And then the 370Z with this crazy, crazy, crazy wing on stock wheels. It's not bad though. Who knows? It might be a work in progress. All I know is it does look good. Um, so far, um, the car is just slowed down and coming in, so um, I'm going to hold off for a little bit and uh, wait for some more cars to come, and I'll show you guys those cars when they do come in.
right, so some more cars rolled in and you will not believe what rolled into this meet. <laughs> Look at that. Now, um, this is a Toyota Supra or a BMW <laughs> with a rim from ReZero on it. If um, this Supra actually looks a little bit familiar around um, here, here's a sticker that might spark some uh, memories there. And um, if you still can't recognize it, well, uh, there's a Stafo on the other side of the wing. Pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. But yeah, man, he, um, the owner made it out. It's nice. It's real nice. These, um, these wraps are very new. Because, um, if you remember, this car was not wrapped the last time I got a video of it. But, uh, it is definitely wrapped now. I'm pretty sure this is like the second Toyota Supra wrapped in anime in the United States. I'm not sure about outside the United States, but I'm pretty sure within the United States, this is the second car that is wrapped in anime. <laughs> so uh, this one is on the East Coast in Florida, and the other one's out on the West Coast. Um, believe it or not, it actually has a ReZero Itasha on it, but uh, it has Amelia on it. So yeah, just it's kind of crazy how that is. And here is another car that might surprise you. So yeah, if you didn't know, this car was not actually wrapped when you guys last saw it, believe it or not. Now, I know a lot of people uh, like to bash on Darling and the Franks and everything, but this wrap, though, is so, so freaking good. It just fits the car so well. At first, I thought he was actually going to go with like a military theme, but um, then I saw the car get wrapped in uh, Darling and the Frank, and it turns out real good. It turned out really, really, really good, but again, though, I know a lot of people like to bash on Darling and the Franks in Zero Two because there's so many of them. There's so many Zero Two Itashas in the United States of America. Just in the United States of America alone. It's crazy. It's insane. But they, they still, people are still um, getting the cars wrapped in Darling and the Franks, which I'm not surprised because it is a very, very popular anime. Same thing goes with. Hatsune Miku. Remember when Hatsune Miku was being uh, overwrapped on cars? Well, you barely see any more Hatsune Miku wraps anymore. Now you see nothing but Darling and the Frank Itashas with Zero Two on it. So, yeah, kind of ironic, but yeah, I mean, it just makes sense. It is a popular anime at this moment in time. Here is the other Kia Forte with Zero Two on it. Very nice. Again, like I said, you know, Zero Two is just a very popular thing at the moment, so expect a lot of people to wrap their cars in Zero Two. There's nothing you can really do about it. It's just, it's just a thing at the moment. Like, I can guarantee you, in like maybe a couple of years from now, like Zero Two being wrapped on a car will almost, you'll almost like cease to exist anymore. You won't see any more Zero Two Itashas anymore. It'll get replaced by some other very mainstream anime or something like that so yeah, yeah kind of crazy though um let me see i'm gonna try to look around see if there's any more cars i know i did see one car but um i'm gonna see hopefully some more cars pop up if not i might end the video because um i think all the cars that are were coming are already here so yeah but i'm gonna see if i can find anything else here all right so Look at this right here. So this is the um, the Cadillac that actually rocked up not too long ago. I'll admit though, those wheels look are very questionable. But at the same time though, they kind of work. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There's a little peeker sticker there. Um, I don't know the character last time. I did a car meet video. We had a crazy just buttload of Infinity just rock up. Um, unfortunately, not as much as the last time though. Not as much as the last time. But um, this SI though is so clean. I swear though, this has to be a wrap. I'm pretty sure this is a wrap. And then the Acura with a big ass logo. Holy shit. I think that might be aftermarket. I'm pretty sure it's aftermarket. <laughs> oh gosh. Yo, this boy over here keeps flexing with his Acura, bro. I mean, it's so good though. It really is good though. Honestly, like the like the way the car sits is really really sick. I right, look at that though. Holy crap. Um I think they're kinda like killing their wagons now. It's a shame because this looks real good. 
they don't make wagons like this no more. It's kind of a shame. Um, got another Honda over here. They're pretty nice. Not bad. And then, um, oh, well, this is not part of the show, but um, it's here. What is this? There's a lot of um, questionable cars here at Desolan Park, which also reminds me there's another questionable car somewhere around here in Desolan Park. Let me let me go see if I can find it. Um, I might have to go around just to show you guys. All right, so I hope this music is not copyright. It is very loud over here for some reason, but um, we got another car over here. Um, now these are actually part of Desolan Park themselves. Um, like this is nobody's like personal car or anything. Like these are the cars that they literally brung in here. What is this? Oh wow, Alfa Romeo. That's sick though. But yeah, they got a lot of questionable cars here. Um, this one in particular is the most questionable. I've seen this car here since I first came to Desertland Park and it is a shame the way this car looks. I mean, look at this stuff. The back window. It's crazy though. And then the kind of like the, the messed up paint up there. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, man, it's just a shame how neglected this car is. I mean, in a way, it kind of does look good. Again, I do question if it does run. I've obviously never seen it run. In fact, I've never seen any of these cars at this place run. But they are here. So, yeah, kind of crazy. Um, Go-kart track if you ever want to get some go-karting in. <laughs> actually, I got two go-kart tracks. Actually, and they got a cinema all the way in the back there, if you can see that. Yeah, this place is... Um, Place is uh, all full of uh, fun stuff to do. So, I mean, if you come here for the cars and cosplay and uh, you get bored, there's other stuff here for you to do as well. All right, guys, well, most of the cars have left the meet. I think that's all we're gonna get out of the meet today. It was uh, pretty decent. We got a lot of cars out today, especially a lot of Itasha vehicles. A lot more Itasha vehicles than I would have ever expected at this meet tonight. It was uh, kind of crazy though, but it's, um, pretty cool got to see some old itashas like i got to see at least what one two three three new itashas but um yeah it was um, a pretty lit night again though if you've never been to any of these meets come out they are worth it it's really awesome sometimes you know they do have some slow nights but today just happened to be a really really good night so yeah anyways um i think i'm about done here about to head home soon all right, so um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, and um, I hope to see you guys in my next one.